everybody and welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're at Universal Studios in Florida. We're at their third park. We're at Volcano Bay, which is their water park. It's our favorite water park. And today we hope to go on some water rides, go in the wave pool, go on the, the lazy river, try some food, drink some drinks. Come with us on this adventure. <laughs> get off the shuttle, it takes you to this hallway, which gives you your first bit of theming. Yeah, I can hear the music. <laughs> Are you excited? So excited. We're here super early in the morning because we get, what do we get, like an hour early? Because we're staying at an on-property hotel and yeah. it's already like a million degrees out. <laughs> so I can't wait to be in the water, maybe get an ice cream cone. Maybe get a tiki drink and just live my best <laughs> Volcano Bay life today. <laughs> what about you? I love it here. This is like, the. I think this is the best water park in the world. At, At least, least it's the least best that I've been to. <laughs> I agree. All right, we can go home. <laughs> this is fun. What a great day we've had. Just We're not even inside yet. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking to you. So like Kitcher said, today Volcano Bay opens at 10 a.m. But we are staying at a Universal Hotel. We're staying at Dockside which is a value hotel and even there we get an hour before it opens which is pretty cool so this tiki right here shows you how tall you have to be to ride the different fun water rides i barely made it <laughs> we're good to go yeah it looks like you're going to be going on some water slides today yeah, probably <laughs> so right when you get in they give you the tapu tapu this is a watch band that you can wear and it basically lets you cut all the lines but you can put your credit card on here so like if you want to go to the restaurant and stuff you don't have to go get all your money and all that stuff yeah and um you can what? open a, a lockers with it oh yeah what can't you do you can with take this? photos you can squirt people oh yeah you can squirt people <laughs> i forgot about that we're gonna be squirting so many people today i didn't even know that if you have an annual pass that also gets you early admission yeah we have both so yeah. I was like, which one do you want to see, lady? Because I got both. <laughs> That's cool. Good to know for next time. Look at how... Really put on some sunscreen. I know. I wish I... He's actually right. We haven't put on any sunscreen yet. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these tiki's can be helpful. But look at how beautiful. Oh, I love it. I love it. I know, it's right next to the freeway. But you can't tell, it's like your own island paradise where, where water happens to come out of the volcano into the lava. Here's the entrance to Volcano Bay, and you come in, you end up seeing the tiki in the volcano, but everybody usually ends up going right. But here's a pro tip, an ordinary adventures pro tip. If you go left, there's the Waturi Marketplace and the, the best ice cream you can get right here. Like, you need to try this ice cream. One of my favorite treats at Volcano Bay is called the Waturi Fusion. It's an ice cream cone that has a mix of banana, orange, strawberry, and blue raspberry. And it's really Instagrammable and cute, and it's delicious. We waited 30 minutes in line. Unfortunately, the machine was broken, but I remembered I had a photo of it, so I thought I'd put a photo of it on screen right here, because you guys need to see how cool it is, and you need to get it when you come to Volcano Bay. Just trust me, it's really good. So we're over at the lockers. I'm gonna show you how the Tapu Tapu works. So you place your Tapu Tapu against this thing and it unlocks the locker for you and it gets charged to your accounts. And we got the medium locker and I think that's gonna fit all the stuff that we need. So one cool thing about us getting in here early is we actually get some chairs. Yeah, we found some chairs and uh, they're in the shade for now, but who knows, by the time we come back, I'll probably be in the sun. Yeah. But it is worth noting, there is no more social distancing here. <laughs> yeah, they used to be like all like distanced yeah. out. So but... the days of living like a king, living by yourself in your own little bubble, that's over. 
We are now squished between a bunch of other people, but it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice that they have some sand here to walk on too. Yeah. Feels like a proper beach. If you got a big group or if you can afford it, you can get one of these cabanas, which seems like it's a the way to go. It's in the shade, has your own towels. Yeah. You get your own like butler to give you food. You do? I think so. Oh my gosh. Someday. One of these days. Not today though. Yeah. But one of these days. That would be awesome just for the shade alone, I think. Yeah. If you know Kitra and I, then you don't have to ask what the first plan of action is. <laughs> it's going on the Lazy River. Yeah, but we're not going in the Lazy River. We're going in the fast Lazy River, which is something that they have here at Volcano Bay. And it's our favorite thing in the entire world. Yeah, it's amazing. It's so much fun. I really love the island vibe of this place and just all the little theming. Like they have these, <laughs> these lamps on the bridge. They're like little frogs. <laughs> and this is not the fast moving river. This is the slow moving one, I think. We wanna go on the fast moving one. Yeah, we'll do the slow one eventually, but let's start big. <laughs> <laughs> go big or go home. Yeah. One thing I appreciate about Volcano Bay is they have water squirting onto the, the pathway. So it doesn't hurt your feet. It doesn't. It's usually like, you know, the sun is making the concrete so hot, but here it's, it's nice. The way that you actually stand in line here at Volcano Bay is all virtual. So you come to these little kiosks that they have around the park and you tap your tapu tapu. And now I'm in line for the crack of towel and it, they'll see me in 70 minutes. Me too. Yeah. Crack towel is like the best. It's yeah. like a water coaster. It's amazing. Unfortunately, they don't allow GoPros on many of the water slides here, so I'm not sure how much we can show you today. But we'll try to show you everything we can. Yeah, I'm excited. Now let's go do the, the Fearless River. So here's a look at the fast moving river. You can see it's a little bit more intense. It moves faster. You can see over there the water being pushed. I think they have like these thrusters on the side. So to get on this ride, you need to put on a life vest. You want to be safe. You want to be locked and loaded and ready to go. People. <laughs> the water's nice and warm. It is. It feels so good. Yeah. Do I look cool? <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> look at this little guy squirting out water. The current is <laughs> so awesome. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I feel so dorky. Oh! Yeah, see, like, whoa. whoa. I'm not sure if it comes off on camera, but there's little thrusters pushing you. It's, it's almost like a. Uh, when you're playing Sonic the Hedgehog and you hit one of those like speed yes. ramp ups. <laughs> I can't even catch up to you. <laughs> Why is this your like favorite ride? Of I don't know, but it's so know. fun. It's I hard to film on here. Yeah. It's just awesome. It's a lazy river, but it's a little bit more intense. <laughs> <laughs> also, they have these like tickets over here that sometimes like release large, uh, whoa, amounts of water. Yeah, you gotta time it just right. Yeah, you can get like this tidal wave that like just comes right at you. Oh, there it goes. Oh, we barely missed it. Okay, my favorite thing to do is to go to the side of this place. Yeah. And if you go to the side, you move really fast. Oh out. yeah, you ride the wall. You like ride. <laughs> the, 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 oh my God, you're so far ahead of me now. Yeah, so far ahead. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, no. <laughs> That's what makes this a little bit more furious. Fast and furious. See, they should rethink this as fast and furious, no. though. No? I don't know why I bought to put on makeup today. But it's, it's all washed off of me. Pro tip don't put on makeup. And just in case you were wondering, the Peter fish, he likes, we found him. I return. This is a different variant though. He's wearing a he's he's a, he's <laughs> orange. Oh, 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 orange theater fish. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're in the lazy river, you can just like look down at your tapu tapu. And we still got 50 minutes for crocodile. 
Line says 45. But it's cool that you can be in line and be relaxing and enjoying yourself. You don't actually have to be in line, which is like the worst part of like a water park. Especially when you're like walking up those stairs and you're like your feet are like baking on that concrete and <laughs> you know what I mean like we're in a lazy river instead. Yeah. We're in a well, we're in a fast river. <laughs> Not too lazy, I guess. <laughs> and we're getting off where it's oh we're trying to get off. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe we'll go around the cliff. <laughs> that current was too strong. You made a good job. I'm not sure if you're supposed to get off here or not. This, was, this might be more of an entry. But we, we pulled it off. We did it. Here at Volcano Bay, the whole theme is a island getaway with a gigantic volcano. And you know what that means. We gotta get on island time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get something to drink. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Our favorite bar is this one right out front. It's called Dancing Dragons. And they have all the best tropical drinks. They have all these different specialty drinks and they're served in a souvenir glass. They're only $13.99. I feel like that's really good yeah. for a drink of the theme park. I forget which one is my favorite. I've had so many of these over the years. Yeah, they're all really good. The drinks here are $13.99. They come in a souvenir cup. And if you have the souvenir cup, you get two shots instead of one. So it's kind of the trick into getting the souvenir cup. Hey, they sold me. Then you got to carry it around everywhere because you don't get the double shot if you don't bring your souvenir cup. And the drink I got, which I wasn't intending to get, was the Volcano Bay Rum Punch. This says Bacardi Superior, Bacardi Raz, fresh pineapple juice, grenadine, topped with Bacardi Black. So a lot of Bacardi. I was gonna get something else on the menu, but our bartender over there was like, this is the one to get. Yeah, well, because so, you get the extra floater of rum on top. So yeah. you're getting like three shots in there. Yeah, so let's let's try this out. Let's see what it's like. Oh, you definitely taste that pineapple and citrus flavors. And of course, the Bacardi, because there's three kinds of Bacardi in there. Five out of five Peters, recommend. My drink that I ordered, I actually thought Peter would want, but he decided to get the other one, so I was like, you know what, I'll get it. It's called the Way Wader Melon, and it's basically a watermelon drink with three olives, vodka, watermelon syrup, fresh raspberries, and watermelon. The two shots thing really sold me. <laughs> I was like, we have to get the souvenir cups. Wow. These drinks are strong. He really did put like two full shots in there. But this is really good. It's very light and refreshing. It's kind of a little bit tart with like the raspberries, but then sweet because of the, the watermelon. It's not too like watermelon heavy just kind of a shame like I was hoping it'd be like in your face with the watermelon but it's still really really good wow yeah taste the vodka there five out of five kitchens ten minutes later <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to mention that when you get that souvenir cup your refills are only $11.99 so nice. you save two dollars on additional cocktails and for my second drink I got the toasted coconut pineapple this says siesta key toasted coconut rum and fresh pineapple juice and the bartender says that's like a small batch toasted coconut rum ah, it's like a pina colada but like with that toasted coconut Ooh, that sounds so good it's like a pina colada on the rocks with the toasted coconut yeah it's really good Five out of five, Peter. <laughs> Everything here is a five out of five. But pro tip, get that cup, because then you get the refills for a cheaper price, and yeah. you, get, you still get the double shots. Yeah. Peter, win, already, win. Peter already finished his first drink. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm over here struggling, because my drink is so strong. Like, he literally filled the vodka up to, like, right here. <laughs> She's just a lightweight. I am just a lightweight. <laughs> okay, let's enjoy this. Day. Island time, baby. Look, look at this view that we got. I know. It's so beautiful. We're sitting at like the little bar here. Look at this. Like, we got like our drinks right, right overlooking the views. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, there's like a palm tree in the way, but it's fine. <laughs> How cute are even the little tables have like 
like little tiki heads. Or is that a turtle pole? I don't know. <laughs> so we're sitting here drinking and we got a return time for Krakatau, so we're gonna go and do that, but they don't allow cameras. They don't. It's okay, we'll just tell you how much fun we had. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever been on a water roller coaster? Krakatau is like just incredible because not only are you going down, yeah. but you're going, you're going up, up as well, and you're going in tubes, you're yeah. going it's like outside. Part water slide, part roller coaster, and I don't get motion sickness on it, which is great for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so much fun. I think yeah. if you come to Volcano Bay, that is the one must do thing, other than. The, the laser room. Over here at the okay. concierge, you can rent out cabanas, but they're all sold out. <laughs> Even the premium seating is sold out. Um, we open today? We can rent the towels though. So we found out that the cabana rental sold out for today. $800. It's $800 to rent a cabana here, which just blows my mind. She did say that it was seasonal, seasonal. so obviously like, if you came in like January, it probably wouldn't. Well, was the park even open in January? I don't know, but right now yeah. it's very busy. It's, it's peak summer, so I'm guessing this is like the yeah. highest of rates. Dang, I was not, $800 just seems like yeah. so much. And if you want to rent a towel, if you don't want to bring a towel here, six bucks, so not that bad. Yeah. Like we were saying earlier, they have these touch points all throughout the park where you could put your Tapu Tapu on them and then they like do fun water effects. So I'm gonna put my Tapu on there. And it's squirt some water, how fun! This one right here is a little bit more satisfying. Oh yeah, this one's a lot better. Because you can get a lot of people wet. <laughs> <laughs> so they have a whole kids area called Runamucka Reef. We don't have kids so we're not going in there, but it looks like a whole lot of fun. It looks epic! Check out one of the two stores here. It's called Crack and Towel and Katie's. We're gonna see what's inside. In case you don't want to rent a beach towel for six dollars, they do sell some here. They're twenty-two dollars each when you buy two, or they're twenty-seven dollars by themselves. And they have a bunch of different styles, like this cool one with a bunch of like the signs of all the rides and the volcano right there. And if a volcano bay towel isn't your thing, they do have Jurassic World. And then they also have minions. <laughs> Inside they got a bunch of Volcano Bay rash guards. Yeah, you if you want that and you didn't show up with the proper gear. They also got some tank tops. And it's just a little chilly outside. You can get that Volcano Bay hoodie. We got one with the turtle on the back. I found this really, <laughs> this really cool Universal Volcano Bay hat. And it feels like, like a straw hat. And then on the back, it's a party in the back with like the mesh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I actually think it looks good on you. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, all hats look good on me, so. <laughs> <laughs> and they do have this t-shirt, this woman's t-shirt. Mm. I like that. Does it remind me of those little things that would like dip into the water and poke the water? Those remind me of that one episode of The Simpsons where Homer gets really fat and then he works from home and then he just like keeps hitting <laughs> the key on the computer but then he has like eventually he has like that little thing to hit it for him. This is the greatest invention in the world. You'll make a million dollars. Okay, this is something that I didn't know I wanted until right now. It's a flip-flop bottle opener. This is Volcano. <laughs> <laughs> like... Do I need that? Yes. Please tell me. I was gonna say, please tell me I don't. That is the greatest thing ever. I want it. Wow, they even have a Christmas ornament. This is that same design that's on our souvenir mug. So we could get a Christmas ornament to match. Check this shirt out. This also has that same design, but the cool thing about this is... Party in the back? Talk about party in the back. Oh, but wait. It's like see-through. Nice. <laughs> they have so much sunscreen here. And I just saw a lady come up here and she like picked one of these up, I looked at the price, and it was like $17, I'll burn for $17. <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong. Wait, <laughs> let's check this out. You get two sea wags, I don't know what that is, one sunscreen and two <laughs> towels for a hundred dollars. I think that's beach towels. A hundred 
doll. Oh wait, no, no. Sea wags are those things that you keep your phones. In. Oh yeah. Okay. Wow. That's a lot of money. It is. I like this T-shirt. It almost looks like a spirit jersey, but it's just a T-shirt. Oh yeah, because on the back, the big volcano bay. Volcano bay. Nice. I love that tie dye is back in style. No. You brought it back in style single handedly because yeah. you bought that bucket hat. Yeah, me with the bucket hat and the tie dye, I'm a trendsetter. I know, you really are. They have these really fun photo ops set up all throughout Volcano Bay and they're disguised as like these little tiki dudes. You come and you tap your tap and tap boom. And then it'll take your photo by the waterfall. Oh wow, that's so cool. Our photo from the roller coaster is on there too. I didn't even realize they took your photo on that ride. So it costs around $20 for a photo. Kind of expensive, but it's just like a fun little thing. If you don't have anyone to take your photo and you want to get a, like a really good photo with the view of the volcano, this is like your spot to do it. Thank God for the water that sprays the ground because my feet hurt a lot when we get to the points where there's no water spraying the ground. They should have it everywhere. Now it's time to eat. We're gonna eat at the Kahala Reef. And they have a bunch of different things, including coconut curry chicken, mango pulled pork sandwich, and a pepperoni pizza. And much like everything here at the theme parks, there's a long line. But you can mobile order. Yeah, so we're gonna try to mobile order. The problem is, is I don't know what I want. So this is the first time that we've actually ever mobile ordered at Universal. Not even just like a Volcano Bay, but just in general at Universal. You place your order, and then you go find a table, and then all the tables have these QR codes on here, and you just scan the code, and they bring you your food. How convenient is that? There was like a huge long line. Like, I feel like we cheated somehow. <laughs> so we get to just like hang out like in the shade while we're waiting for our food. It, it's always great when mobile ordering feels like you're cheating and not feels like not at stressful. Disneyland where it's stressful and yeah. a hindrance. So I got the Hawaiian rib platter. This has slow smoked glazed ribs served with mango slaw and fries. I gotta say this side of fries is huge. So if you're looking for some French fries, you know, this might be the place to go. They've doused these ribs with barbecue sauce. I'm really surprised. Usually when you come to a water park, I mean, you know yeah. from our not soak city, <laughs> the food is like serviceable. Yeah. But this is like one step up. Is this like exceptional food? No. But the, the ribs are very tender. It, it The sauce is sweet and tangy. I would get this again. I want to say like a, a three and a half out of five pita. I mean, no, you know what? I'm going to give it four out of five pita. Awesome. This is good. It's definitely better than what you expect from a theme, like a water park. It's probably not bad either. And I ordered the jerked mahi sandwich platter. This is jerk seasoned mahi mahi, cucumber, mango, basil slaw, lettuce, tomato, and sriracha mayo on a toasted coconut bread with French fries. Look at how good this looks. It looks almost like Texas toast or like a Hawaiian bread that's been toasted. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't even know. Yeah, how do you eat that? <laughs> I don't even. I got a fork and a knife just in case, but I'm just gonna go for it first. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my god. It was kind of spicy. Really? Yeah. Because of that sriracha mayo. And like, I know sriracha isn't really that spicy, but maybe it's the jerk seasoning too. Is jerk seasoning usually spicy? Wow. Five out of five. Really? Instantly. This is amazing. The fish, like look at look at that fish. Who would have thought that you could get fish like that at a theme park? Not me. I was kind of worried. <laughs> I was like, oh no, what did I order? Yeah. But it's like nice and tender and fresh. Wow. And then I got a milkshake as well. Chocolate milkshake. This was actually Peter's milkshake, but they didn't have vanilla. They only had chocolate. So I was like, I'll drink it. By the way, that milkshake was cheaper than my Coke. It was cheaper than my water. This was five dollars. This was four dollars. So I think I mean, someone's priorities is like out of order. Yeah. So don't get milkshake a water. Should be like a premium. Don't get a water. Just get a milkshake. Tell that to your parents when you come here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what my favorite thing to do is after I drink a very rich, milky milkshake. What? 
go in the wave pool. <laughs> <laughs> is this gonna make, I was just thinking like, it's so funny that they sell milkshakes at a water park. It's probably gonna give so many people like upset stomachs. But let's go in the wave pool, should be fun. Are you gonna get an upset stomach? I never get an upset stomach after a milkshake. What are you talking about? Lactose intolerant people. Oh, okay. I think I'm lactose intolerant and I just don't know it. I just keep eating. You should go into those tests. I know. Anyways, let's go in the white pool. That was my point. So right there is the bar that we drank at earlier today. And that is Cabana Bay. That is our favorite Universal Hotel. If you stay there, you can like literally walk out your back door and be at Volcano Bay. Yeah, into paradise. Yeah. It got crowded all of a sudden. <laughs> a lot of people in this wave pool. You ready to go in? I'm ready. One of the cool things about the volcano is it actually houses a number of water slides. And one of them actually comes all the way down here and through this tube. So on the other side, there's actually a pool that isn't a wave pool. And if you are here at the right time, you can actually see people coming down the slide. Right now it's the calm before the storm, but at some point that bell over there is gonna ring and then the waves are gonna begin. And it gets, it gets a little bit intense. Not as intense as Typhoon Lagoon, but you'll see. You ready for some waves? I'm ready. We're very, we're like as far out as you could go. The rope is right here. So we are as far out as you could possibly go. We're gonna see. Yeah, right now the water is calm, but I have a feeling that it's gonna change pretty soon. Everybody knows what's coming. Are you prepared? No. Can you be prepared? <laughs> I'm ready for the tidal wave. What is it like this weird ritual that people are doing? I just heard a coughing though. <laughs> oh yeah, everybody's doing it, aren't they? I didn't know that this was a thing, but apparently it's a thing. Yeah, we gotta do that. <laughs> Inside of the giant volcano in Volcano Bay lives Ball. She is the spirit of the Krakatau volcano. Normally she talks to you and will interact with you, but I think she's sleeping right now. But it's really fun. There's a bunch of water effects and stuff here. And it's just, I wish she was awake, dang it, but I understand, I'm tired too. So it's fine. You, you look really evil with the, the light coming from below. I know. I, uh... <laughs> Hello? Hi. Looks like he's asleep. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. This little tapu tapu point is actually pretty funny. Check it out. If you're ever like soaking wet or it's really hot, just come right here and they all, all these little holes blow air on you. Yeah. Some people would say it blows. Yep. <laughs> Are they kissing? I've never noticed that before. Yeah. One of those for our house. 
<laughs> I've never, we've been here many times, I've never seen that before. That's yeah. so cool. There's only one way out. I guess we gotta go this way. Nice. Oh no, oh god. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> That's so What happened to you? The water! <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, you know. where you're gonna walk through. And also, that is where we were behind. We were right behind, right over there. Pretty insane. This is what the wave pool looks like from up here. A lot of people. I just got in dry. I thought I was gonna leave dry, but now I'm like totally soaked. I don't know if you got footage of it, but did you see how I didn't get wet? Yeah, you put your towel. I, I have a towel and I put it over my head, but now my towel's soaking wet, so. <laughs> Who's the winner here? I don't know. At least you have a dry towel waiting for you. Good point. And at the end of the day, you gotta drop your tapu tapu and the tapu tapu return. Tapu, you will be missed until next time. Oh, excuse me. We had a fun day at Volcano Bay. It's a lot of relaxing, but that just means we did it right. Yeah. If you want to see when we went to another water park in Southern California, not Soak City, put the video right over there. And we might go to more. If you, if you want to see more, let us know in the comments below. We want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes MW, Veronica Yost, Chris Chan, and Mandy and Marion. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you, see you on the, in the next, next adventure. adventure.